he should be able to also knock down uh, Roland Romero in the third, right? Those puncher, you know it's going to be difficult. Oh. And there it is, difficult. The left hand dropping. Hey. Um, it's not there. <laughs> Check this out. It was very questionable, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I, I'm not in the ring with him, so I don't know what he saw, but that was probably one of the worst stoppages I've ever seen. Sit on him like... <laughs> No fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PJG. I praise God to get buddy. Back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, I don't know what it is, man. Dr. Boxing talk in the building. So I want to talk about today about, um, you know, the hot topic has been, uh, who has it been? You know, uh, it's been the 140-pound division. Very, uh, that's by far the most contentious, deepest division in boxing right now, in my opinion. I think that's pretty much the general consensus. But the, the, the hot thing has been, uh, you know, everybody talking about Ishmael. Uh, Ishmael, sorry, uh, Isak Pimple Cruz. I got ahead of myself. Uh, Isak Pimple Cruz, uh, Devin Haiti, Subaru Matias, and Teofimo Lopez, right? People are saying, oh, yeah, those those guys are, um, you know, people, people are generally think that Pitbull is a weakest link, and I, I, I beg to differ. I think that's a that's a very deep division. I think it's going to be a great battle between them, and um, I think he's going to show out, you know what I'm saying? I think he's going to be tough to unify, even get undisputed at 140. But uh, we'll see. That's what makes boxing boxing, right? The, comp the competition. But to me, in my opinion, man, I think a lot of us are forgetting about Ishmael Barroso, man. The old man. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. Ishmael Barroso, I believe he's Venezuelan from Venezuela. You know, he had that battle with uh, Rodi Romero. Doesn't lie. And <laughs> I think that leaves him the odd man out. I don't know who he is going to be able to beat. At 140, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who he'll be able to beat at 140. Um, I think him and Esau Pitbull Cruz, he deserves a chance. First of all, Ishmael Barroso definitely deserves a chance. Him versus Esau Pitbull Cruz would be very uh, interesting. But I don't know, man. I, I don't know how well he'll do against Esau Pitbull Cruz. I think Esau Pitbull Cruz is going to overwhelm him and get him out of there. I think it's going to be a very dangerous fight for him. I think Devin Haney outpoints him. I think Teal Fimo probably knocks him out viciously. And I think that... Um, same with Subaru Matias, man. I think Subaru Matias gets him out of there in a convincing fashion as well. So I think that Ishmael Barroso does deserve a chance. I think most likely he'll come against uh, 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 um, um, uh, Isak Pippo Cruz. However, though, I just thought that was very interesting, man. It's like they tried to wipe him out, out of history, bro. Like, if you go look at... <laughs> If you go look at the boxing record, you know, uh, those of you who watched the fight, you know that uh, he, Ishmael Barroso knocked down uh, Roland Romero in the third, right? Those puncher, you know it's going to be difficult. Oh, and there oh. it is, difficult. The left hand dropping. Hey. Um, it's not there. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah, it's not there. There's no, there's no notation of it. There's nothing there. Uh, uh, it's like it didn't even happen. And then if you, it, it, to be fair now, Roald Romero did knock down Ishmael Barroso in the ninth round. And now, now it's Romero setting up. It's Romero setting up. It's Romero setting up. Damn. Down for the fifth time in his career. Granted, it was a little more, it was more so of a push, but he still, it did count as a knockdown, and that's not notated there either. I do want to say, though, yeah, I'm just being funny, man. I know uh, Boxing Rec, they do a pretty good job, a very good job of notating uh, what transpires throughout the duration of a fight, you know, and they don't always get everything in every fight. But I just thought it was just funny, you know, with Ishmael Barroso and Roley Romero. It's like they're trying to, uh, <laughs> it's like the boxing world trying to erase that one for history, man. So, um, yeah, it was a bad stoppage by Tony Meeks. Uh, Tony Weeks, you know what I'm saying, who I think is a good referee, you know, he, I think he just, um, it was very questionable, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, I, I'm not in the ring with him, so I don't know what he saw, but that was probably one of the worst stoppages I've ever seen. Sit on him like, the fight, and they are just, what? what the, Tony Weeks? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy, boy, ain't no way, boy. And, um, you know, and then he followed it up with another poor stoppage. Uh, uh, for Frederick Lawson against Virgil Ortiz Jr., even though he said that Frederick Lawson had something had something going on, you know, I think he has some uh, uh, something wrong with his brain. He has some uh, signs of aneurysm. You know, I'm not I'm not, uh, I'm not in the ring. I don't do that type of analysis, so uh, I just take his word for it. Other than that, I think Tony Weeks is a great referee, but I do think that people are overlooking the odd man out, and I think that's Ismael Barroso because I don't know who who he'll beat out of the current champions, but he definitely deserves the opportunity, and I definitely think that. Um, 
he should get one. Um, and I would love to see it. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do you think Who do you think Ishmael Barroso could beat? Who do you think he has the best chance against? I think he probably has the best chance against the current champions. I don't know. I don't even know, man. I think they all beat him in devastating fashion, man. Y'all let me know. But y'all, God bless. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we are nothing. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.